all right welcome back guys this is the 33rd video from what i imagine um but of course if the numbering is wrong we can continue from there okay so from where we left off i was in the middle of geez i can't remember exactly which quest i was doing right now but i was <laughs> going through a ore mining spree as you can see uh didn't unlock a very important feature of the game which is this um chest that essentially allows for a much more storage you don't have to handle any storage whatsoever as it is all magically quote unquote magically located inside your base and it'll auto automatically go there when you no longer have space in your inventory as you see on the screen you're still limited to an extent of what you can or can't carry depending on how easily you can access the items menu but overall a very good forward uh, momentum with how to handle inventory in this game if there were any changes I wish it would have had, would have been um, if it could have had the ability to automatically go to the previously stored items. Look at this thing, it's massive! It's a <laughs> but by the amount that it stores, it's ridiculous. So it kind of matches how much storage space it actually has. It's so cute. Yeah, at this point, I took a while uh, understanding what this item was. So much so that it was it seemed like it was too good to be true. Because Minecraft doesn't have this either. Everything similar to Portal Knights, uh, all storage had to be yeah, manually handled. I mean, there was a sword, but otherwise one chest was not linked into another. Another good thing about this game is that it handles, like other games, it automatically detects what you have in the storage and craft out of it instead of having it in your mandatory inventory like uh what you're instead of requiring for you to actually hold it right then and there just because it's in a storage it'll count as a material that needs to be uh created and um here i am trying to figure out <laughs> yeah, here's when I was uh, checking as to whether or not I can store things remotely. If that's the case, it would really help my situation. Uh, oh, and just to reiterate, the one feature I wish I had was the ability to um, get... Like, if the item is already in the big chest, right? If I pick up more of it, instead of going to my immediate inventory, it should go to the stack that's already started in the box which i guess could be confusing at times that i could tell um, but it would make my life so much easier because i don't want to have to worry about these things i know that some people would like to have that notification of having it in their bar of what they just collected which is i could see the i could see the reason behind that but i guess it's not too big of a deal it's already a huge plus for that fact. I left a huge patch of dirt with just straw flowing there. So I'm going <laughs> to... I eventually fixed that, but it was just so messy. Oh, no, it was because I was showing Gina um, how the flooring worked. I was that excited. I was like, look. <laughs> Another mining spree. Be I, I guess that's... What's good about this game is that they make a rather remedial or repetitive task and make it seem entertaining because the award this is kind of an investment at this stage where you're investing in collecting all these materials so that you will have exactly what you need at a later time and it pays off it always does um not only do they encourage you but they set it at a good pace where they make you realize that look to proceed in this game you will have to get materials you will have to look for things you will need to explore you will do exactly as your creativity can muster and and that's 
and how they pace it and how they handle this formula between an RPG and a sandbox game is unbelievably well. <laughs> As you can see, I'm j there's no there's no method into what I collect things. It's if I see it on the screen, <coughs> I'll go and pick it up. And another thing too, um, there's quite a bit of story as you can see here uh, in the game where you will start to pick up the reason why this world is in shambles or why there's these abandoned buildings. No, it's not just procedurally generated. In fact, it's not procedurally generated. So these aren't random maps. Granted, I think the materials are placed randomly, but the um, position and quests that you have to achieve are not random. So there is some replayability, but not in the aspect of generating a new world. Perhaps when you finish the game, they'll give you that ability to just do it on a peaceful slash survival mode, which would be great. Easy to do too, I would imagine. I also, <laughs> Gina laughed at me for this, but uh, I had, I always carried a uh, workbench or that, that Mason's workbench thing. I forgot, or workstation, just in case if I need to craft something on the spot instead of going through my inventory just to pick it up i could pretty much do it right then and there and here this is one of the coolest parts of the game where you find these strangers that are out and out of their luck uh i, I destroyed his little campfire <laughs> i felt bad but it's cool um because he gets to live with me so i'm basically saving his life so he'll have to handle that small little discrepancy yeah, so I pick him up. He's actually one of my favorite characters. He ends up to be a guard and he stays up at night to fight monsters. <laughs> so as you're building at night, you'll see him walking around patrolling. Uh, it's so cute. It really makes you feel like you're a part of this world or that you're contributing to this world. Here I am collecting leaves or straw, uh, leaves for straw material like beds and stuff like that. And the white petal is for uh, white healing uh, lotion or something like that. Doesn't give much health back, but it's always, trust me, if you're ever in that situation where you need that health, you'll be glad you had the healing lotion. LaRouche, oh my god. Uh, this guy comes off the bat as a pessimist, and you just generally don't. I honestly wanted to kick him out of the place from the get-go because he didn't, he, he dissed my town. He basically said that it's not that this is all right i'm just staying here temporarily nothing crazy and right then and there i'm you saw me use seed of life four times in a row why because i found out that seed of life is actually a permanent upgrade <laughs> i thought it was a temporary buff where it, where it just temporarily increases your health no this increases your health permanently And then at this point, I find out about brick cladding and flagstone flooring. So uh, you will see me go in a short spree where I go around my dirt pile of a city and beautifying it. <laughs> and note that only dirt blocks will get converted. And as I'm doing this, as my city becomes when it changes from dirt value to stone actual value each room increases in value too so these points are accumulated to uh, my base level the base is essentially this and the higher the level the more it unlocks and i believe every time it levels it, it introduces a new traveler that will come by each one with its own quest and potential contributions that they can give and as well you'll also note that the safe area i do wonder if the safe area actually becomes a little easier to uh, manage i just wish it could increase in size because it becomes such a limited space ah uh. And scorches. At this point, I was trying to make things that were new that I didn't expect. In fact, the coolest part of this game is that some of the formulas didn't open up for me. Like, 
it didn't tell me how to create the next level or next tier so each room can be improved depending on what kind of furniture is inside so it'll be like a regular furnace room to an artisan furnace uh, furnace room so on and so forth um, each with its increasing value um, although they do teach you how to create an artisan furnace room but um, how to improve it I, I think I found how to make a sh like shoddy uh, guest house by just creating a guest house in my image <laughs> I hope uh, I could somehow find out like it, it it does at times it wouldn't make sense as to what makes it an improvement like by literally putting down a pot down would make it fancy from shoddy to fancy <laughs> so I guess it's like once they recognize that you decide to put some effort into into that building oh you're gonna put a furniture for decoration all right now it's fancy because you have one decoration piece inside all right, so that will conclude the second video in the series. Um, plenty more to come. I like making these, and I hope you guys like it too. Thank you.